the flooding of Newcastle Drive part four. Okay, and that's all you see the dumpster. We'll come back around here. This is a little area we cleared out right across from our apartment. And I'm gonna walk up here on this berm and I'm gonna give you an idea. Okay. Now, if you'll look down, you'll see this little piece of ground right here. This is just about five feet above the water before the water floods. Now you can see how high the water is down here. And as the further down we go, the lower the ground gets. That tree right there, when the water level is down, you can see the roots. Somewhere down there, there's supposed to be a little basketball uh, thing for uh, to play ba put basketball up in a parking lot. Now let's take a little walk. I'll keep this on for a little bit longer. Here, to give you an idea. This water is being retained in the ground. As you can see, the bubbles. There are bubbles in the water. If you can see it bubbling right there, that is from that is water from the creek to give you an idea on how high the water is. This water will recede when the when the creek goes down. Because this is all creek water. Now we'll go further down. Further down. This is interesting. Look at the water in the ground. All the way down through here. This is how high the water, why the water level is so high on the ground. Okay, look at this. As you can see, the flooding all the way down there over into that lot. Nothing to stop it. Now we're going to go over and have a little more fun. Let's walk around here to the road. to the front of the building. This is the water from the creek coming up on the yard. The front yard. You can see where it is. Hello. Give me a second here and I'll get back to you.